Shigate, one of the holiest and the second largest cities in occupied Tibet, was devastated by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake with hundreds and hundreds of people killed. In the past five years, about 30 earthquakes below 5 magnitude have occurred around Shigache. In 2008, a 8.2 magnitude earthquake killed over 70,000 people. Imagine filling a giant water tank on top of cracked ground. That's basically what China is doing in occupied Tibet with over 80,000 dams acting as potential seismic triggers where earthquakes already naturally occur and millions of people end up being displaced and our grasslands being destroyed. Consider the basic signs. These reservoirs behind dams aren't just storing water. They are adding immense pressure to the Earth's crust. This phenomenon is called reservoir-induced seismicity. These hydroelectric dams are causing these earthquakes. China is responsible for these devastating earthquakes. And why is China building so many dams? Tibet is known as Asia's water tower. Hence, China is weaponizing the water. Over 3 billion people in Asia, including India, depend on the water for farming, drinking, and daily use. These dams act like a giant water faucet that can be turned on and off at will. Clearly, Tibet's independence means geological and political safety for India, Asia, and the rest of the world. As my country continues to be devastated and destroyed, China is using this tragedy to push their colonial propaganda. More and more Sinophile media outlets have started calling Tibet Shizang, a dire attempt to erase our culture, history, and our very existence. Tibet is Tibet. China needs to get out of my country, Tibet.